Hello, everybody. I was having fun today with uh, Winifred Whitfield. We were uh, working on a uh, playing on a go to meeting, and I was showing her some new brushes that I have been making for a blog post. And these brushes can make flowers all by themselves. <laughs> and so um, I had so much fun. This is the image that we made. I decided to go ahead and preview them in a class that's coming up. Um, I've got the third week of the Holiday Open Studio uh, class at the Digital Art Academy. And so in my week, I've decided to add this uh, technique as a bonus to uh, the class. And then later, I'll go ahead and make the blog post that I had uh, been planning. But anyway, I start this technique with uh, this brush, which is called Damp Texture. And it's really kind of fun because you paint with it. It looks like it's a mess. But then as it begins to dissolve or diffuse, it, it gets you this light watercolory look. Uh, there's a similar brush in X3 now called Real, uh, Real Watercolor Damp Texture. And um, the uh, it was a brush that I made, and the, then I've tweaked it some a bit. So this is an, another version of that similar brush. Anyway, after you do that, um, what you want to do is select another brush and I'm going to go for a brush that's called Inky Flow Pickup. And so with Inky Flow Pickup, let's see, I don't need that open. I'm going to pick a nice kind of rosy, no, actually I'm going to come down and pick a kind of a deep purple. And working right on the same area, I start painting and there you go, your flower begins to appear. <laughs> I love this. I think this is so much fun. And, you know, you don't know what kind of flower it is. <laughs> it's just a flower. But as you see it develop, you can kind of, you know, change the way it looks. Like this one, I'm making it kind of long. Um, I mean, it's like I'm looking at the side of it and you've got this little dome at the top. So we're looking down into the flower. And here we can put another one over here. <laughs> I just think they're so much fun. Now the technique, uh, this particular technique, if you come back in with um, another color, it will eat away the color that's already there. So if I were to try and make, ooh, that worked out. <laughs> I, th I was thinking that one wasn't gonna look like a flower, but it does. So if I were to change my color to this red and I go in and start putting it in, it actually eats away the purple and puts in the red. And, and I don't like that. So I made another brush that allows you to come in and add color. It still follows the same patterns, but it adds color. So you can, you know, gussy up your flowers and make them have a little more personality. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I know this is silly to laugh about this stuff, but I think it's so much fun when you can take something in painter and, and just sort of play with it and, and not know what's going to happen and then develop something from it. So here we're going to add a little yellow to the flower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the first stage of making flowers with brushes that make the flowers for you. <laughs> I hope that was fun. They'll be on the blog one day. I'm not too sure when. And those of you who are taking Holiday Open Studio, you'll be getting them um, the week after Thanksgiving. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.